Hey, good Thursday morning, my friends. This is M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. How are you doing today? Do you have any travel plans? Are you starting to feel like winter is here finally? And are you starting to think about going somewhere south? Well, I do have a warning for you on the weekend. I'm going to show you a snowstorm moving through Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio, into the Virginia. So I'll give you an alert on that. Maybe there's still something you can do if you're driving on that one. Flying really shouldn't be a problem because it's going to stay south of Michigan as far as Detroit and all the airports. And of course, it'll stay north of the, the far southern uh, destinations. But uh, we'll talk about cold. And yes, I'm finally starting to see what I think is some real cold. Not historic cold or anything. It's cold that we've dealt with in Michigan before uh, in the winter. But it is some finally real cold. So let's get to it. And if you have any questions, let me know. Good morning, Joanne Samp and Keith Keel. Good morning. Hey, there's my buddy Eugenia Jarema. Good morning to you. Uh, Krista wants to build a snow fort, so you're going to have to wait a little while on that. What we have right now is we still have some very spotty areas of snow showers. Uh, the northwest a little bit heavier, and in the southwest corner is probably what I would just call some vigorous flurries. And that should all be winding down, it looks like, uh, as we go to the oh, mid-morning hours or so. So here's your radar forecast. And nothing really to be concerned with widespread. You know, you get close to Lake Michigan. Hey, Christy Barber in Traverse City this morning. And Bill Hobart in Sterling Heights. Good morning. Uh, so this is the radar forecast. And now, now we're through into uh, almost midnight. That's midnight. So nothing going on. So today it's cold one. Let's get through the temperature quickly. And here's the high temperature for today. You're looking at uh, southern Michigan, 25 to 27 in the southwest corner by Kalamazoo, and 27 in Grand Rapids. Saginaw, Flint, Bay City, the Thumb, about 22 to 24 degrees. Northern lower in the teens for high temperatures, UP in the teens. So we do have cold weather and we have brisk winds. Here are the wind chills through the day. We're looking at single digits this morning, even single digits below zero up in the Northland. And as we get into the afternoon in the quote-unquote heat of the day, still quite chilly with temperatures in the teens. Mark the snow down, use a walker down. Okay, <laughs> I don't know where you're going with that, but it sounded kind of cool. Good morning, Eric Briggs from Dearborn. And uh, Sherry Hickey from Aura. Where is Aura? Boy, Boyne City. Uh, what's it like up there in Boyne City? Lots of snow? Okay, so let's get into our snowstorm for the those driving south. Will Saturday be a good travel day from the Thumb area to where? Saturday in Michigan will be a good travel day. This is Saturday morning. Here's the snowstorm. Okay, Storm Center in Oklahoma. Remember the snow band? usually north of that storm center. Uh, maybe some light snow gets into the southern half, uh, southern third of Michigan, let's call it. And this is, this is Saturday, so you're running into the snow in Indiana and Ohio. And then this is Sunday morning, and the storm is kind of hanging around. And this is Sunday evening, and then it's kind of off to the east. A lot of models do this and hang things back too long, I found. So it's probably hanging it back 12 hours too long. Then it moves on to the east. Uh, we still are lacking a snowstorm, but we're starting to see what I call the Arctic front. Let me show you what I mean. Here is uh, late next week and another one of these storm systems forming in the southeast. But... Notice what's going on up here, and this, I think, would be the Arctic front, which, as it comes through just right on timing, late January, as we've expected it, that's a cold flow right out of the north. I'll show you a little more on that, and here's the next Arctic front. So, someone's asking, where is winter? I'm walking around in shorts. In about the next uh, 10 to 14 days, it's going to change. And, you know, hey, it's... 
it's probably not anything historic, you know, way, way below zero. But we've just been kind of uh, lulled into thinking that yeah, maybe there won't be much winter. We told you it'd be up and down, and here comes the down part. So get used, get ready for it. And much like if you weren't a summer weather lover, you would uh, probably know that sometime in July or August, it's going to get hot and humid, even if it's a cool summer. Uh, Tammy wants to know about the Kalamazoo area. Just some snow showers today, no accumulation. And uh, then Saturday, maybe a light snow. Is Saginaw getting the storm? No. Here is the total snowfall forecast. Sorry, the legend's way over here. So this basically, you're looking at about two to six inches of snow. Southern half of Ohio, southern half of Indiana, northern Kentucky, back in Illinois, Missouri. So if you're taking 75 on Saturday, I would probably, you know, I, I'd be careful. They tell me that 75 through Ohio and Kentucky is nasty when it's snowing uh sunday still kind of iffy and then monday it should be over but it will be cold so how they take care of the roads down there in the south i'm not really sure just giving you a warning to avoid this you'd have to be through this area by sunset on friday okay now this is what i'm starting to become skeptical on this is the 6 to 10 day forecast january 15th to the 19th above normal temperatures this is the 8 to 14 day forecast january 17th to 25th uh trying to take away the above normal temperatures but we um you know still are not in the cold section someone asks joanne samp says mark are we in for a warm before that cold not a, necessarily a warm but 35 to 40 for a few days next week uh, Verna, will the thumb get snow this year? Yeah, but I think it's going to be just, uh, you know, s two or three snowstorms, something like that. Okay, now, this is what I really want to show you. What I'm seeing is, you know, everything seems to be coming true, although what I'm going to show you is out at the end of the forecast period for a computer model. So it's not that great. But the general consensus from all of the data that I look at is showing me the same kind of scenario, which tells me that uh, it's, you know, probably going to happen. So any accumulation speculation for the later snow? No, Erica, it's, it's just way too far out. In fact, I don't see anything that, you know, if you had me speculate right now, I don't see anything that is large just yet okay now what you're looking at is you're looking at the upper level temperatures about 5,000 feet where you see these colors colder than normal temperatures where you see these colors warmer than normal temperatures and we're going to go into the weekend someone asked is there warm coming well you can see another patch of a couple of days of warm okay ah, tippy top of the morning to you lynette babber Baber, hopefully I said it right. And, and then early next week, a glancing blow. But what I want you to focus on is the colds starting to get bigger and bigger. Okay, we're into late next week, Friday, Saturday, warm again. And then here we go. And what you're seeing there is you're seeing temperatures about... Oh, let's call it 10 to 15 degrees colder than normal. So again, it's not a historic type cold. It's winter. It's what we would expect. But you take 15 degrees off of an average high of 28, your high's in the low teens, maybe some single digits, okay? And we're into Monday, January 21st. We try to get a little warm spell, but as we go out toward the end of the model, what I want to show you is that we're starting to see a much larger area of cold. Uh, and so I do think we're going to have a couple of uh, cool down. Now, again, they're still warm out there. So maybe this is maybe this is a two week cold snap and a little bit of a moderation to normal and a two week cold snap after that. Then we're talking we're almost into March. Yes, time flies. So there it is. 
pretty good travel today, except in those snow belts that got a lot of snow. I just heard from somebody on here that a Mancelona got 11 inches, so that doesn't clear up instantly, especially when the roads are cold. Uh, but otherwise, the main areas southeast, southern, lower, Saginaw Valley, you're going to be A-OK -okay on roads. You're going to be good through the weekend probably, and then we'll watch for colder air eventually coming in. There's your update. This is M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa.